In this video of Oracle SQL, we are going to cover the conversion functions. As we are having the number of different data types available in the Oracle, so there may be a situation like I want to convert a particular data type to some other type. So basically, there are two types of conversion that is implicit and explicit. So if you want to convert a where character or a care into the number or date, you don't have to do that as it will take place implicitly. But if you want to convert something else, like if I want to convert the date to a where care or date to a number or something like that, in that situation, I'll have to do the type conversion explicitly. And for that, we are having some functions. So let's find out what all functionality is available in Oracle for the typecasting. So as in this particular statement of round function, which we have already covered in the date functions, you observe like when I was passing the date in this round function, I, written, I have written this particular date in the single quotes, but the function may consider it as a number or maybe as any other data type as character. So to tell explicitly like whatever I have passed between these double quotes is nothing but a date, I have used a conversion function right here called to underscore date. So it will explicitly convert any particular given value of character type to the date type. So when I will execute this, you can see it's working fine means now this to date function was successfully able to convert the character value to the date value. Apart from that we have some more options and some more conversion functions to do the different functionalities. For example, if I want to get the current date system date, so for that I have a method called sysdate and I can request that from dual. So here you can see that's the current date. But whenever you will request a particular date, it will come in a particular given format that is DD, that is date, MON, that is the abbreviated form of month and RR, that's the century. And here, since it's 2017, it is showing you 17. Now, if you want to change the form, uh, format of this particular date, you can do that as well. But for that, you will have to convert this particular date to the character type. So what I will do here, I will bind this uh, sysdate inside its toCar function and after that I can pass any format format model. In short, you can also call it FM. So uh, for example, I said DD month and YYYY. Alright, means date, then full name of month and then the year in four digits. So when I will execute it, you can see like it's 25 January 2017. All right. Similarly, if you want, you can also get the current day by passing day. So you can see like here it is written Wednesday. All right. That is 25th Jan 2017 and the day is Wednesday. Similarly, you can, if you don't want all the things, you just want day, you can do that as well. All right. You can also use these functions in the where clause. For example, I want to check like I want to get the details of all those employees who have joined in Saturday. So for doing that, what I can do, I can simply select some particular columns like employee ID, first name, last name, department ID, take higher date as well, higher date which is the column here and let that's it. So from employees where to care alright and here inside this I will pass the column named higher underscore date alright and I'll just take the day of that particular one. So if that is Saturday, I want to get only those list of employees. So as you can see, no one got hired on that particular day. So let's change something. Maybe that's weekend. So let's find who else joined on Monday. No row selected. All right. So uh, 
let's do one thing uh, maybe there's a problem of case so what I'll do I'll simply convert that complete day in the lower case using the lower function which we have already discussed in the case manipulation functions of character and still it's not alright when the employees got joined let's choose Wednesday alright so that's the trick means these are all the employees with the dates you can check like maybe these dates would be on Wednesday itself that's why they are here so this is how you can use these conversion functions in a different way similarly if you want something else like if you want to get the spelling of a particular date you can do that as well like for example if here I'll say DD SP then mon and then y y y y all right so you can see it's 25 all right but if I will add th that means it's something like in th form like 25th all right so you can see it's 25th Jan 2017 so using such format models you can actually get the complete details similarly if you want to get the time from a particular date for example sys date means that's the current system date and time if I want to get the time on a particular moment so I can do that as well using hh mm and ss alright so you see it's 3 0 1 alright so I'll say MI alright MM stands for month in the numeric way alright uh, you should not go for month that's why it's 0 1 that's for Jan MI for minutes so now you can see 3.36.54 alright 3.36.58 so this is how you can uh, actually start work with the times if you want to get something like AM and PM the format model will only take AM but if the time is according to PM it will show you PM after that alright and you can also go for the 24 hours format by passing HH24 if it's HH24 you don't need AM or PM at that moment then now it will show you 1537 alright so using this to care conversion function you can actually convert a particular date to a characters on a different format now you can also go for the to number for example I want to uh, make some addition on a particular given number for example I want to get the today's date and I want to add some numbers into it for example if today's 25 and I'll just take the uh, 25 as a number I can do the arithmetics with that alright so let's see how can we do that so first of all what I'll do first of all I will ex extract the character uh, to care function and I'll use sys date and I will just take the dd part of it alright so as I have used to care this 25 will be in the format of a character but if you want you can also convert it as a number using to number method alright so here that number 25 will be converted as a number and then you can add any value into it like 20 from dual and here you will get 45 because 25 plus 20 is 45 all right so these are the conversion functions here like to care to date and to number using which you can convert the one data type into another